softwareization in general and telco softwareization in particular is something that you hear very often. But do you really know what is really meant by telco softwareization? What problems telco softwareization can solve for telcos? And what are the capabilities that telco softwareization can actually deliver? Let's find out answers to all these questions in this knowledge spa. In today's video, we are going to look at telco softwareization at very high level. Now, before getting into telco softwareization, let's look at something we discussed in our previous video on telco digital transformation. We talk about the telco business problem, which is actually shown in this graph. Now, it is not correct to plot cost and traffic in the same graph, but for illustrative purposes, we have done that. And you can clearly see the cost is increasing due to the growing traffic, both stored and transported. And also the revenues are not increasing the way the telcos would want to. And therefore there is a gap. Now, mathematically, if you look at how to close the gap, considering the graphs of cost and revenue, one would say that you can bring the cost curve down or you can increase the revenue curve up or you can do both. Now, how do you really bring the cost down, which actually includes the capital and operational cost? Now, there are certain things that you can do. And there are certain things you can do to increase the revenue. Let's look at the options. Now, in terms of cost, if you really look at, you can adapt to multiple things in terms of telco digital transformation and also telco softwareization. Now, while telco digital transformation has many ways to address the cost component in the business environment, Telco softwareization specifically look at how to bring down the cost in technical ways and technical terms. Now, one of the ways is introducing automation. Any repeatable task, any repeatable process that you have in your organization or in a telco environment can be automated. So that you actually need very less human intervention achieving the objectives that you would want. The second one is virtualization. Virtualization as a concept has been quite successful in the IT world, in the computing world, and we're trying to bring the same capabilities or even more to the networking world. And in virtualization, we're trying to use the resources that are available in your networks or system or data centers in the most optimum way. Now the third one is DevOps or development operations where we combine the development cycles and the operational cycles together and sort of adapt to DevOps type of operational environment and that way also you can bring your costs down. Now if you really look at how to increase the revenues, again, we have a couple of options. One is increasing the agility. The second one is increasing the flexibility in the operational environment or in the business environment. Now, increasing the agility and flexibility in telco environment is very important because we need to come out with new products because one of the reasons that the revenues are not increasing is mainly due to the lack of products. And the reason for not having enough products or not having good products or not having new products is because the traditional hardware sort of working methods do not allow us to do or rather do not allow us to invent new products faster because we don't have that flexibility and agility mainly in our IT environment and also in our platforms. But if you take the cloud providers and also 
the over the top providers they actually start with software platforms and they have the required agility and flexibility in those platforms so that they can come out with new products and new changes to existing products faster and go to market faster so these are the type of capabilities or type of options that we have in a telco environment to bring the cost down and also to increase the revenue also in our previous video on telco digital transformation we looked at the overall sort of blueprint of the technical aspect of digital transformation in a telco environment and we briefly look at a new term called softwareization now softwareization as a term is not specifically confined to the telco domain but telco domain is one of the areas where softwareization is widely practiced so in our discussion most of the examples that we are taking today are in the telco environment now before getting into softwareization or telco softwareization let's look at what is really meant by ization or the words when ending with i z e or eyes and we form a noun corresponding to a verb ending with eyes so that is what you really mean by ization according to the dictionary take an example urbanization the quality or state of being urbanized or the process of becoming urbanized capitalization the act or process of capitalizing so the verb is capitalizing and the noun corresponding to that verb is the capitalization industrialization the act of or rather the act or process of industrializing realization the action of realizing so these are some of the examples where we get this feeling of isation changing a verb to a noun another example is organization the act or process of organizing of or being organized so what is softwareization even though it is not directly translates from what the dictionaries talk about isation type of nouns according to wikitionary the use of a software solution rather than the traditional hardware to solve a problem is mainly defined as softwareization i think it's a fair definition for softwareization because if you take the verb bear software rising the noun will become softwareization but we have a better definition in the IEEE SDN initiative or institution of electrical and electronic engineers software defined networking initiative which says cloud computing SDN NFV can be seen as different expressions of an overall transformation which is going to impact telecommunications and ICT industries this trend sometimes called softwareization or itization now this i feel is a better definition specifically for telecommunications and ICT industries in our future videos we are going to look at what is cloud computing and what is SDN and also what is NFV now if you go back and check the fundamentals of telecommunications industry and also the ICT industry we see that we mainly address three things in this environment one is computing the other one is bit storage the third one is bit transport now computing has developed over the years 
today we're talking about supercomputers and even more and the efficiency of a computer or computing resource is measured how many instructions that the computer or the computing resource can process per second and if you look at the storage of bits you're talking about massive data centers with large capacities and we're talking about the efficiency of or rather the capacity of a data center or the capacity of a storage environment in so many bytes we're talking about terabytes petabytes exabyte etc and if you take the bit transport aspect you have different pipes or different access methods and different aggregation methods and also different transport methods to transport bits from one place to the other and your capability or your efficiency or your capacity of transport is measured how many bits you can transport for a given second so we have units like terabits per second gigabits per second etc so fundamentally if you take the telecommunication industry or the ict industry as a whole we have been doing computing bit storage and bit transport mainly after we moved to the data dominant business era now one of the things which has been quite inherent to the telecommunication industry is the hardware mindset now the hardware mindset is the type of thought process that we see in the telecom industry which is one way of looking at this is networks are built using boxes and they need to be configured the two keywords here one is the box the other one is configuration or configured the second one is services too are delivered using boxes and they also need to be configured now this box and configuration mindset has been there for quite long in the telecommunication industry we look at things we look at networks we look at systems we look at data centers in terms of bunch of boxes connected using wires which is your network and each and every box you need to configure to get something out of that box or the network or the system now similarly when you want to deliver a service to an end customer again you are thinking about a box which is going to be installed at the customer premises and that box too need to be configured so this box and configuration mindset has been something quite deep rooted in the telecom industry and this has been evolved for the entire history of telecommunication over the last 160 plus years and it is very difficult to change that mindset now what we are trying to achieve with telco softwareization or softwareization generally is actually to move away from this traditional hardware mindset and also the traditional hardware technology to software so if you take compute so you have bit processing which is done by computers then you have storage which is bit storage in terms of bytes in your storage environment and also even though not new in a data center environment if you take networks we're going to transform that as well with softwareization the networks measure so many uh, bits per second and it does the transport of bits so that is the hardware world that we know now mainly together with automation devops etc mainly what we are trying to do is sort of virtualize this environment so that we can have virtual computers virtual storage and also virtual networks now even though virtual computers and virtual storage are not new especially in the data center environment virtual networks is quite new in the transport environment 
not necessarily inside a data center but within data centers and this makes us move from hardware to software or rather we softwareize things and we rather use software more often than hardware in the day-to-day -day business of the tail corporations now what are the tools which actually enable us to do softwareization even though there are many tools in this series of videos we are going to look at three capabilities or three tools one is sdn software defined networking there are many ways you can do software defined things so we use the word sdx sometimes but sdn the networking part is a fundamental component of sdx then we have nfv network functions virtualization and then thirdly we have cloud computing technologies so in our future videos we are going to look at the sdn part of it nfv part of it and also cloud computing part of it and try to see how this softwareization puzzle for a telco can be solved that's it for today and thanks for joining and I hope to meet you again in another Knowledge Spark to discuss something more about telco softwareization and of course another component, another capability of telco softwareization. As always, if you have any doubts, please get in touch with us via our email address or comments. Thank you. If you like this video and want to see more by Active, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button.